Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how you can stream your webcam video, the live stream, directly on your MATLAB app designer. These steps are very simple and I'll try to keep it uh, as uh, simple and as short as possible. So to start with, just type webcam command in your uh, MATLAB command window. And if your webcam uh, command works, then you should get something like this as an output and your webcam uh, should become active. Uh, you, you can see the active light on your webcam, the LED light which is usually given in most of the webcams these days, it should glow. So to close it, you should first clear all or uh, clear this variable which got uh, created here. So this will close your webcam. Okay, so now uh, if what if this command is not installed uh, on your machine, so nothing to worry. This is a add-on package uh, provided by Mat, uh, MATLAB, MATFAX. So what you can do is, if it's not installed, you'll get an error that this is not installed and you should install it as an add-on uh, to your MATLAB environment and they will give you a hyperlink. You can directly either click on that hyperlink or go to this add-on package uh, button on the top over here. Just click over here and it will open an uh, add-on explorer window where you may have to log in to using your MATFAX uh, user ID and password. Once you log in, uh, you can search for this MATLAB support package for USB webcams or webcams. And you come to this page, you should get an install button, just install and it will take few minutes hardly to install it. Since it's already installed on my machine, see the green button, uh, green label here on the left hand side. So it's not showing the install button, instead it's showing the manage button. Yeah. So once you have done the installation, then just verify again. This webcam command should work on your uh, MATLAB command window, then only you can use this uh, uh, tutorial to design your uh, MATLAB app uh, designer. Okay. So let's assume that your webcam command is working uh, as shown in my screen over here. So then you can proceed and let's create a new app designer uh, over here. So first let me save it. So I'll just save it by the name of webcam video streaming. So my file goes here. So I will keep it very simple. I just have one button which will just activate my webcam and one access where I will get the output of the webcam in my figure window. Yeah, just keep it a little bit bigger. And you can uh, keep the button name as it is, but uh, just for the simplicity, I think I will rename it to name is start. And I, I'm not going to do much on this access, but anyway, we'll uh, use it uh, for this. Yeah. So for, for just for figure. So let's. Uh, so the code will be very simple. We'll just put a push uh, button callback function to this. Either you can select this button and go to the callback and then click here. That's one way to write a push button callback, or you could have directly come to the code view and then uh, added a uh, function over here using this approach. But this is much more simpler and. Uh, Straightforward. So now let's first have a uh, object. Let's first assign a object called cam with webcam my command. So now this is what it will create. What I showed you previously over here. It, it will. So these all things will go in a variable called object in our app designer. And now we'll use this object to preview our uh, output into the axis which we have shown here. So once we have created this uh, object cam, which will record the uh, uh, videos from our uh, webcam. But I think uh, there is some mistake. I think webcam should sometimes some of the commands of the MATLAB are case sensitive. And here if I observe, I think by mistake I had given the WNCS capital. I'm not sure why. But anyway, this should work now. And now once we have this uh, cam uh, uh, object, we will have to create a frame out of it using the snapshot command. So we will take frame equals to a snapshot and then we can use this cam as an input to that so what this will do is it will take the frame out of this uh, uh, running live video and it will and then we'll use this image command uh, to show this frame uh, on a uh, regular interval so now once we have this what we can do is we can create a image object and 
over here we'll have to choose the axis on which axis we want to draw so over here you can choose an external axis also but but since in our app design we have taken an internal axis i'll show it in our internal axis so for that i'll choose this app dot ui axis here yeah and once we have this first uh, input then the second input is options no no second is uh, the uh, points so that we can take as this is like an initialization and we will just have a size of frame frame object yeah and then the third one will be also like uh, on what data mapping you want to do so we will probably go for the uint 8 this one is a good one yeah I think we should give it in the single quotes so I think by mistake I close this bracket here this last bracket should go here yes so once we have this image object created second what we can do is we can then have our axis to recognize this app not ui axis that it will be plotting an image and we can make it prepare for them yeah so this is the like a kind of settings we have done for our axis here now the other command which we can use is preview command so preview will do nothing but it will uh, show you the output of this uh, camera in our image window what we have shown with the frame uh, as in uh, input for this okay so we just take as cam and image object here yeah so once you have done this uh, i think the last thing which is left to be done is yeah if you notice uh, this should work but uh, since if you notice this function will immediately end here and as we are assigning all these variables inside the function this function variable will get cleared here so this other option is that you can push out this function this variable outside of this uh, function and assign it in a in this uh, as a class variable but to for simplicity right now i just put a pause command so that it does not get cleared and it waits for my input in the matlab command window to get cleared but uh, in later part of this video i'll show you how we can uh, make it more robust by uh, putting it outside of this uh, function so once we have this now let's run and see what happens uh, to our this command so yeah so we have all our uh, uh, buttons so we have to just click on the start button and i'm expecting that yeah see so my webcam has started and it's uh, it's taking live photo of my yeah my desk and yeah that's it and yeah to stop it we will have to pro as i showed you that i have given this pause button option so we'll have to go to our uh, metal command uh, window and just click on this and it should have uh, yeah yeah it, it closed that because uh, the function got cleared and there is nothing left to be done anymore so as i told that uh, for so having done this programming there is one problem here the problem what i said in the beginning is like to move this uh, cam variable or sort of this what's the problem if you don't move it i will show you so say for example if you start it and then the uh, your, your video will be coming and the only way to close this uh, video streaming will be to go to your metal command window and uh, press any key to close this or to terminate that pause what we have given in our uh, code over here this pause option because if you close this uh, figure window it will still be running and it will still be in the pause state and your webcam will be active and you can't do anything else you can't run it twice so you have to run it uh, let, let's see what happens what's the error we get if i run it twice i'm pretty sure we'll get some error uh, yeah so i think it got hanged i think i first have to press first this yeah so it was waiting for my previous pause and then only it started again so that's the problem so that's why we have to solve this <coughs> and the only solution is if we move this cam variable which stores the webcam live uh, object uh, into it to outside and make it as a like a class uh, variable uh, private uh, uh, variable and then when we close this uh, figure window it will automatically call the destructor of the class 
a little bit of oops concept here but i hope it's very pretty simple and it will automatically clear that <coughs> cam variable here and then that will solve the problem so let's let's start uh, doing that so the steps are very simple you can go to this properties uh, i think your properties and then you can click on this uh, you can uh, yeah they give two options i think private property is more than sufficient because we are anyway working on only on one class and the name of the class i can keep it as a cam and I think that's it yeah, and, and of course, then we have to use everywhere in our function as app dot cam, uh, app dot cam, and over here so app dot cam, and then we don't need pause. The importance of pause, sorry, I skipped that part, uh, and I won't go back again. But uh, you can just uh, uh, do this, like don't give pause initially, and then see what happens. Your video will not come because the moment is uh, if you don't give pause and only the cam variable is your function variable it will quickly end so it will not show up but in this case since we have created a class variable so it will not get destroyed even on calling this or ending this function so it will be alive so your video will be alive so let's see so we have just done a small change we have created a local variable or a class variable cam and yeah so after this we will just run this uh, and let's see if it works or not I think I have to close the previous one, I'm not sure. Okay, and I run again. Yeah, so my this is working. And this time, uh, if you go to and see in the MATLAB command window, this MATLAB cursor is still there, so you don't have to go, it means it's not in the pause state. And you can just, I think if you close this, it will work fine. There is no error, yeah. Uh, error value given, uh, or there is some warning but of course there is no error and I think this time we can uh, run it twice in parallel probably let's see what happens at least it will not wait for my pause to be broken if I run it again so it it has started again uh, uh, that window and why it was able to start was because there was no pause uh, state and so it was able to kill the previous uh, login a uh, previous uh, this application and the moment the previous application was closed or killed it uh, cleared this cam variable and then it it is again uh, start a new one so I can again click on this start and I get this window again yeah. perfect so I just close it again and yeah that's all so I wanted to keep it uh, simple and so if you can see that uh, design wise I tried to be pretty simple here just one start button and one axis where you can draw your uh, or get your webcam video directly over here yeah so basically this this whole part of the code is this four lines of the code preview and webcam is the main command uh, where which gets you the webcam gets you the uh, streaming and preview shows you the output in the in your uh, uh, figure window and i hope this video is helpful in designing the uh, video in your uh, figure window and if you have any questions, please put it in my comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.